what's up everybody so big treat today we are at streetcar takeover atlanta 2020 and the good news is there's a lot of people here so far and it looks like that line is actually getting a lot bigger so what we're planning to do today is we're not going to be doing any racing so we're just going to be spectating and we're going to be recording for we got uh ryan's little lamborghini here just kind of having some fun with it it looks like some of the big hitters are here today we got vengeance racing back over here we got CH just all over the place. And we got this nasty uh, Mustang over here that we got to come by and have a look at in a minute. Twins. The twin turbo. Oh, and look, they got the puppies here too. Hey, puppy. Wow. I was saying, look at these twins. Ooh. This thing came to run. Oh my gosh. And this wrap is clean too. Look at that. Got the bead locks in the back. Nice big tire on there. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. How's it going, man? Ah, well, we'll definitely be seeing this one run a little bit more soon, so stay tuned. We'll have some more footage. Montana? Huh? Montana? Uh, oh, okay. This is where I tag all my dudes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Sweet. This is a cool little car, man. We saw it when we drove up, and I just had to come by and at least say hello to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Hello, hello. Hey. No, he's right now. Okay. So we ran last night, dude. We oh, yeah? got a bike. Out of 40 cars, we won the event. You know? Really? Mm -hmm. uh, what was the mile per hour? Well, we entered the 140 class. So okay. If, if I just went on my stage four team, uh -huh. um, we're over 150 in a quarter. Really? So we should be. I, I didn't run nitrous, though. So oh, okay. I didn't run. I have a couple other maps that are high, high horsepower. So okay. I'm probably running last night, maybe 900, 950 horsepower. Jeez. We'll run about 1,100 and... 23 horsepower today. So how does it hook up with those tires then? It's a quattro, well, we right? Roll racing last night. Oh, okay. So today we're gonna we gotta check some things out on it. But. This is sweet, man. I, I dig it. And you know what? And then I got my two girls over here. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. No. You ready to go racing? Huh? Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. No? She's a little Ooh. distracted. See the race cars? <laughs> oh. See that thing? So here's kind of where we're at. We got Vengeance Racing, which always brings some hot stuff. We're going to have a chat with them in a little bit. Then we got this Mustang back here. We got this Audi back here. Said last night he was row racing, had it up, turned up to about 900, and today he's gonna be spraying it on top of that. So that thing should be running pretty hard. We've been seeing a lot of other cars backing out of the trailers and whatnot on this end. But let's just take a walk down here, because there's a couple other cars down here that I, I really cannot wait to see. Ooh, we got a nice Skylark back there. Well, these are the ones. We got a couple of Camaros just kind of hanging out in this area. So we actually followed these guys in and these things, they look like they're pretty beastly. So let's come out and look. Once again, we're just Camaro fiends and this thing is clean. Oh, got the big tire back there. That's similar to the size I'm running actually. But that's all you need for this. Running a 275 radial. How about you guys, but I'm a fan of these ZL1 covers. They just look so sick. Ooh, everything about this just looks clean. Maybe later on we'll get a little sneak peek underneath that hood. Not one. We got number two over here. Oh, Mopar back there doing a little hit. This thing is sweet too. Oh, he must have drove it here. 
Well, it is streetcar takeover, so man, look at this thing. This thing is sweet. Man, I'm digging these wheels more and more. I've been seeing them. And once again, on a 275, that Mickey Thompson. Those things hook. So once again, they brought the race fuel. Oh yeah. These are sweet. Hoping to see them a little bit more. Hmm. You can smell some of that race gas coming out. <laughs> look at this. I just turned around and look what happened to be popping up over here. There's a neon with the big tire on here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up guys? I just happened to turn around and I saw this huge tire on this neon. I thought, what the <laughs> what's going on over here? Right? <laughs> Definitely came to party, man. I mean, <laughs> what's going on with this? Yeah, dig only, or did you guys do some roll racing last night too? No, we just got here today. Got here today. Okay. Where y'all from? Oh yeah. All right. We're from Greenville. Yeah. So, but I, like I said, I just turned around. And I was like, holy shit! I had to come see this. This is ridiculous, man. Four speed? You banging gears in this? Five? Nice. Okay. Okay. And, I mean, no weight, right? You don't need it. <laughs> That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. So I'm assuming full build on the engine and whatnot also? Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, if you don't mind, man. I, I always up for seeing it. I just like seeing the most crazy stuff, right? That's, for me. literally just cut the holes in the hood yesterday for the dump. Oh, that's what those are. Okay. Oh, dude, that's... Twin scroll, dual waist gates. Okay, okay. So this thing should be moving pretty good, man. Precision 6262. Really? And how does this pull? Pretty quick or does it, does it have some laggy? and? 4,000. Yeah, okay. Oh, I bet it just comes in like a freight train then at that point. It's crazy. All right. So we don't really know how it's going to run. Oh, really? New setup first, first time out. Oh, first really? Time Sweet. Hey, well, we'll be up there rooting for you guys, man. I mean, Anybody who makes it here and goes down the track is kind of a winner for me, right? Well, dude, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Like I said, this thing is just ridiculous, and <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I really am looking forward to seeing it. So I'll have some more footage on there, and, and check it out, man. I said I never get tired of Corvettes. A nice Z06. Buddy Ben did some work on this car. This thing looks good. I think he competed in the 140 class last night. Hoosier's looking real good back there. Long term, this is some goals right here. Look at that. Not with the Hellcat on there though, but the trailer, sick. Well, we got a couple of Mopars that we pulled in earlier next to. These things are always surprising actually. I gotta give them their props. I actually dig the way they look. Once again, B Blocks needs that. That's a big wheel on there too. Looks sick though. ARD Motorsports, all right, we'll give them a shout out. Hellcat running skinnies up front. This thing is clean. I oh, only drove it here too. All right, that's in respect. <laughs> Once again, that's all you need in there, right? Yeah, sick. I dig that. And it's gutted too, as you can tell. Oh yeah. Just for this event though. Okay, okay. Hey. And I thought you drove it in too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm the only heavyweight that drove here. Everybody else on trailers. Dude. I drove 45 minute drive. Yeah? Where are you from? Full of fuel, flowery branch. Flowery branch? Okay. Yeah. All right. 20 gallons of fuel, extra nitrous bottle, coolers, everything. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, dude. I don't have a truck or a trailer. So right. I usually just drive up here and uh, but this is my uh, new I'm getting used to this new setup. Okay. It's uh, a little bit more powerful than last setup. Last Oops. year I came here and ran 10 index. Ah. This year I'm running 950 on motor only and I'm going to run heavyweight spraying. 
So, well, there's a couple heavyweights that I yeah. know down there. My buddies, the same garage, just made it a little faster than me. Okay. So I'm a little underpowered there, but hey. we'll see. It's all about the fun, man. I'll tell you what, man. I saw this when we drove up, and like I said, I had to come by and at least chat with you and yeah, learn about man. the car, man. If you so. like Plum Crazy Purple, man, that's my, it's always been my favorite hot yeah. color. When I was growing up in the 70s as a kid, I always wanted a purple dye. So we got all the Vengeance Racing guys lined up right here. These cars are sick. Every year, they just truly know how to make their presence known. This one just broke the world record for C7s. And that's right, it's LS swap. Thing is sick. Crazy fast. This thing every year, I can't help it. This thing just always impresses me. So this will be goals right here soon. We will definitely get there. Sweet camel C7. I dig this. What's that, right? What is that? Like Daddy's car. I wish Daddy's car looked that cool. We did see this car here last time. This car is cool. Love these wings. Uh, Last year we were parked next to this car and let me tell you this is probably one of our favorites every time we see this car it just impresses us more and more and more and i mean i, I dig these hoods look at this this is all carbon it's got good flow and it's got these killer vents on here but what really sets this car off is these wheels these things are sick it actually sits just right and yes it's a wagon I think we have to definitely keep up with this. Fan bit. <laughs> I dig that. Last year. That is sick. I dig those. Probably one of our favorite cars here. Every time we see this. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of our favorite ones here. Okay, now this is pretty sick. Nice. Oh, old school, traditional, nice. A lot more consistent. With the green ZL1 here, very nice. You good? I'm liking that carbon wing. This thing's pretty sweet. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Doing it's okay. Man. Every time I see this car, I'm here, for the car show. I'm here for the car show, man. Every time. That's what happens. This is the show. Oh, dude. <laughs> this car, every time we see it, it's so clean, man. I dig it. I try. This is new, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's been that way for about a year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little a year and a couple months now. Okay. But yeah, still. for the truck class. You just never know what you're going to find here at Streetcar Takeover. This thing is clean. Look at that. <laughs> nice. 
nice. <laughs> That's awesome. And we're back where we were earlier. So one of these meets would never be complete without a Supra. So we have to see this now. It's my first time seeing one up close, actually. It is much different in person. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I will have to say, I did not expect to see... Well, I don't know. It does look a lot wider in person, actually. Every time I see the videos, it's really kind of got me up in the air about it. Very cool, though. Very cool. Let's check it out. I'm liking all these green axes that the car has. Look how cool this is. That is... Not only did they bring that, they brought this. <laughs> this thing is sick. We just can't. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. This thing is nice. Look at that. I recently saw one at work. This new one. I cannot wait to see what they're going to be doing with this. It's got the carbon tips. Sick. Carbon side. Vengeance racing on there. They drive it. They went to the Indy Airstrip attack. This is nice. Nice. They did good. Money it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sick. So here's something that's really cool. I haven't seen this before. Look at that. So it's all carbon fiber and whatnot. This thing. Can't help it. This car is just immaculate right here. Look at that. It still has the plastic on the floor. Holy crap. Sick cage back there. Oh my gosh. Carbon seats. This thing just gets better and better. Once again, this thing is just ridiculous right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's what I wanted to see earlier. So sick. Oh my God. So we just saw this and I had to record it. This is actually kind of cool. So there's a Mustang over here, freaking fast. And the trailer he brought it in on, it, I, I just can't explain it. So check this out. So he did a full vinyl wrap where it looks like the car's in there. But this is the car. So when he opens it, then you get to actually see the car. That is so cool. What's going on, man? I'm just digging the wrap you have in the back of the trailer. <laughs> that is, I like that a lot. And I saw you banging gears on this, man. This thing moves. Man, what's done to the car, if you don't mind me asking? It's a Vortex Supercharged Coyote. It's a board, oh, okay, so it's a Coyote swap. Sweet, okay. Very cool. Dude. It's just a T56 Magnum in it. Uh-huh. But it works. Yeah. Uh, I saw you just going out. What gearing is in it? Because they just keep carry it all the way it's through. Gearing it is 410? Yeah. What do you rivet to then? It comes across the line about 7800. So oh, okay. So I've got it to give everything you can on that gear. And with the tire, 275? Yeah, 275 tire. Okay. Run a 
Right. It's honestly, it's respectable, man. Like I said, this car just it worked, and I saw it go earlier, and I thought, okay, okay, <laughs> I liked it. Well, good luck. Be safe out there, man, and we'll we'll get some footage on there. So just keep an eye. All right. Cool, man. Sick. Yeah, this thing moves out. Ooh, I hear a chop chop. They're just everywhere. Oh, look at this Jeep. We got a Jeep right here, and then we got it. How we good on the. Oh, yeah. This just never gets old. All that stuff never gets old. That's pretty cool. So I don't know much about the, which Lamborghinis are which, but this one is sick. Have a look at this. This has these brakes. So this is my hand. And look, I can't even. I like that they're on Michelin's though. That's pretty cool. Man. Look at all this. Yeah. Thing is so nice. I like this. So now I'm starting to see more of these Supras, more and more. And I got one for you guys. You can love this. This thing is so sick. So this thing is bagged on BBSs and just sitting right. Look at this. This thing is sick. Right. It's clean too. Doesn't look like it has very many miles on it. But dude, this is pretty damn good. Yeah, I like this. It has an exhaust on it. Just sitting real nice. Look at that. We gotta show the vet some love. It was a nice ZR1, it just showed up. It's clean. This may be the nicest car I've ever seen in a row. strong so I definitely got to put them on here streetcar takeover they're always doing what they need to do as you can see they're doing some big work down there so we got to give them their props and I hope they get it fixed